Hello, it is your Lord and Master Soaring here with your next month's uh, Trove Farming Guide video. Here I'm playing the new uh, mechanic for Trove, the minigames that have replaced some of the uh, challenges that are occurring hourly. Yeah, it's okay. I like it. It's, uh, it's better if I win, right? Uh, uh, of course I fall. Can't jump properly. I can, I, I can blame the, the lag, right? Right, guys? Anyhow, um, so there have been a lot of changes to Trove over the last couple of weeks. Primarily the uh, adventure inventory that was just released and it has changed a lot of the game. And if you have watched some of my, of my uh, previous videos, um, for example, the opening of the Trove of Wonders, you'll see that uh, there is now a tradable credit alternative, which is good. We've been asking for that for a long time, and so I traded off credits and got flux in exchange uh, so that I could make a uh, kind of a winner's bet for the opening tro Trove of Wonder, trying to get Gonda. And, uh, yes, I am recording a video. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the club world. Pop over there. And we're going to get right in to explaining the changes that have gone on with the economy. So, I had before told you that you it would be a good idea to buy up chaos chests to save them, to resell. And that statement, um, we'll see if that holds true. So, chaos chests... Because it's no longer tradable, the price has increased and will continue increasing. Um, and then, additionally to that, I, th I told you it would be a good idea to sell your Pearls of Wisdom. Was I right on that? No. <laughs> um, the price of Pearls of Wisdom has increased dramatically, and that's because the rate at which you get them from the new Chaos Chest ro um, uh, rotation mechanic, the new Chaos Chests have lowered the drop of Pearls of Wisdom, it seems. So, that's unfortunate. For other economy, uh, we're going to go into Shapestone. Um, a lot of the mining stuff has gone down this week because of um, all the bonuses being active for uh, the Festivist event. Infinium is also down. I've been buying a lot of it up. Um, I have like 30,000. And uh, Formicite is down as well. So all the mining is down. Um, consequently, so are bombs, because everybody's buying them. And big bombs last week were, uh, were getting a little expensive. So there might be an alternative there. Primal Flames are dropping in price. And again, everything that's mining is going down. Things that are going up, however, are fairy dusts um, hovering at about 60, 70 a piece. They were at um, much higher than that later. And if you were to buy up all these here, then you would, you know, you'd see an increase in the price for that as well. Um, hovering about 80, going up 90, almost 100. So if you buy up the first couple pages, which you could relatively do. Um, the reason for that is if we go over and hit the, gotta get my, gotta get my bearings, where did I place that thing? Over here. Um, you'll see that some of the premium collectibles require, uh, Sticky Ecker is also increased, but, um, Fairy Dust 600 required, uh, Fairy Dust 500 required. And then on the costumes, you'll get Fairy Dust 300. 
So I mean, it's uh, it's got it's went up primarily because of the craftables. 200 fairy dust. Um, a funny thing to note about the economy here is that, like the Breezeborn Blossom Wings, right? It's uh, 1500 uh, or 150k flux to craft. But uh, if I go into Blossom, just put M Wing, see if that, yeah. <laughs> um, at 140k. So rather than farming 150k flux and then the crafting materials to craft the wings, you can just buy the wings outright. And some of the items like that are are that way, it seems. Uh, so that price, the price of those wings should go, should be hovering around 150 at least. Uh, some of the costumes have also gone up. Uh, Guardian Angel, for example. There aren't many. <laughs> on the market. So, uh, nice to know that my character is wearing half a million flux. It's very good. Very good thing. To note, things that are still good farmables will be uh, radiant caches. Uh, still hovering around a, uh, a thousand flux like they are always. So, again, if you are, have the capability to do that, do it. Any of the recipes now are hovering around at the very lowest, 200, and blank scrolls, um, even after converted, are 200. So um, make sure that e even if you don't need the recipes, you can always uh, uh, downstack them into blank scrolls. That way you, you don't have, uh, like, the way my inventory looks in my... Uh, Cute cube cache vault world uh, with all these recipes hanging out here. You can downstack all those. I have cast <laughs> uh, just downstack those all into blank scrolls, keep them around with you. And they don't even take up inventory slots anymore, so there's that. You know. Keep it around. See, I've been buying up a lot of the Infinium because its uh, sell price will go up after the all the bonuses. Right now, every bonus is active. So you have 50% mining bonus and win experience and adventure experience and shard farm rate, etc., etc., etc. So neat. Might want to look into doing that. As for uh, other things in the future, um, what can we expect? Well, because right now we have all the bonuses active after Stone Festivus ends halfway into the month, all of those uh, bonuses will come back, the prices for uh, harvest items will increase, the pr prices for ore will increase, and because uh, for the last uh, uh, almost month, uh, as this Snow Festivus event has been going on, people have gotten used to all of this high abundance of resources will suddenly be taken away and so their uh, the demand for them will increase and their price may even be higher than they were before the event and in addition to that with the ability to hold more uh, flux and hold more inventory space a lot of the items have become uh, more prevalent or easy to farm easier to farm and so our the economy for trove is getting a lot of um, a lot of flux. So um, now, where before my inventory used to be filled with you know all of these items, I now can just fill them with weapons and armor and scrap it all for flux. So uh, there's an influx, an influx of flux uh, into the economy, inflow, a an increase, uh, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, inflation. Yeah, inflation of flux into the economy. So consider that as not a good thing because it'll increase the prices of every item in trope over time. Um, and that'll get worse the longer the inflation occurs. A lot of the uh, flux right now is being removed because players are making these items here with you know, 50k flux, 200k flux, 
then you know 150k flux, etc. Then it's, uh, all of that flux is coming out of the economy. But as more, more and more people successfully craft those things, um, that flux sink will be gone, and the only available flux, flux sink again will be uh, Troves of Wonder, which isn't a very good flux sink because a lot of people know not to not to even mess with them. So it's up to you guys to make that decision on your own. So right now, Pearls of Wisdom, if you have them still, sell them. Um, because the, or, or save them a little longer in order to, because the price will, price is bound to increase even farther. Uh, now, interesting thing here is with like the Quad Forge Souls and the Penta Souls and you know, Radiant Souls. Uh, their prices are down across the board, and that's because um, people just stopped caring about uh, holding on to the souls. Like I used to uh, keep five or six slots in my in my shared chest just for the souls, but now they're all in the in the crafting down at the bottom, so I don't have to worry about carrying that around anymore. It's just there. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, my advice to you for this week, uh, if you're going, if you're starting to listen to this now and um, going into the contests, um, right before the the end of the contest, man, like switch your switch your stuff over to one of your classes. Just some basic stuff, right? Switch your stuff over to one of your classes so that you can get these extra, you know, right. So here we have Knight, here we have uh, Candy Barbarian, and I can easily just go boom, boom. Who, who, who do we have? Who do we have? Tomb Razor. So I have this. So I can pop over to uh, Candy Barbarian, equip both of these. Puts me right, right up close to 5k. I'm pretty sure I could do something else to get it up to 5k power, but. Um, or even better, go over to knight. What was the knight? Do I have a high, do I have, I have a better knight for some reason? There you go. Got the five k power. Come over here to. I already forgot. The tomb razor. <laughs> I think it was tomb razor. Equip your stuff, man, so that you can get. Right, right before Sunday ends, just make sure you get your extra three in this case for me in power gym boxes. And this, I was only just switching my stellars over. Real easy thing to do, get to get some gym boxes right before the end of the week. All right, um, I'm gonna be making a proper tutorial series here soon, shortly, as in like. Probably today, <laughs> not today. Maybe tomorrow. More, more tomorrow probably. Whenever I have time. If you have any other questions, you know where to leave it in the comments below. Um, there wasn't really that much to talk about in terms of uh, what's farmable because you know know what's farmable. You've watched my previous guides probably, and if you haven't watched those, but the farmable items aren't really changing because right now you can't really do any farming. The farming for um, for resources in the sense that you're gonna go out and throw bombs and in mine and then make more bombs and sell the bombs. Problem with that is, and you'll notice that in the, in the market you'll see these 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. People actually watch my videos, so they'll watch that and then get that advice, and then actually do it, and then flood the market with bombs. So now that now that everybody's doing that, it's been decreasing the price of bombs in the market. Unfortunately, I might be slightly somewhat the cause of that problem. And then, in addition, additionally to that, like do, work on some of the rarer stuff. Like again, radiant caches are fantastic. Radiant shards, even, 
are still four. They're always going to be that way. And right now, there's even a bonus to farming the shards. People always need the shards because there's always these styles that everybody forgets about in their rune crafting bench that require so many, so many shards, so many shards for one style. And there are 300 melee styles, uh, the 200 of which I, well, no, 100 of which I still don't have, which is just 10, 10K right there. There's another 15K I need. There's another, you know, almost 20K I think I need for just staff styles. So, you know, we always need them. So, farm radiant shards, sell them. That's probably one of the easiest way to get, and it's pretty fast. So, there's that. If you have any other questions, again, leave them in the comments below, and you, you know what to do if you if you like the video. I'll see you later, and I'll see you later.